Greetings, this is August 14th at 6 p.m. with the most recent satellite infrared update for the Elephant Hill wildfire. You can see here in the latest map update for 3.39 p.m. Pacific Standard Time that not much is showing other than a prior indicated perimeter. I do want to advise you to go to the BC Wildfire Service active map. Uh, it's, the link is just below and check out the lightning strikes to the east of 100 Mile House and in that region just click on an icon. It'll give you the data of where it is and if there's more information attached there could be maps there which you may find vital in your situation if you're in that area. They are estimating the size of the Elephant Hill wildfire at 163,221 hectares. Now we're zooming into the Elephant Hill wildfire perimeter in a TNRD bulletin this morning at 10 a.m. and you can see the areas uh, moving northwards, Pressy Lake uh, to Jim Lake and uh, Hutchinson Lake. And I'm very concerned about Sharp Lake, Regan Lake, Machete Lake because they are in the path of this northeast flow of air that's moving uh, with some consistency from the south. So we're going to take a look at the region and a little bit north to the caribou and see what infrared is showing. It's been very sparse. There's a lot of cloud cover and smoke. Uh, you can see here the elephant fire is at the lower right and the areas showing a lot of infrared are at the top left. That's the region near Nazco and north of Risky Creek and we see some out by clean and clean on highway 20 towards Bella Coola. So we're going to just turn over to the terrain map so you get an idea of where these infrared hotspots are showing up on the Fraser Plateau. We are looking at satellite infrared hotspots that are indicating heat in a certain area. Now cloud cover may be obscuring it and these spots may be a kilometer off from their intended heat source. So it's one more piece of data that we can analyze and interpret depending on our situation in the region. Here is uh, the overview of the fire that's approaching near Nazco and if I zoom in to the community of Nazco I can see these pockets of intensity uh, on the hilltops to the southwest. I can see striations which may be due to the cloud cover or you know some other infrared controlled signature that's going on and if we zoom in even closer to the community we can see about three kilometers uh, southwest and west and it looks like it's a, a, it should be appearing on the hilltops however there's probably a lot of dense smoke that's rolled into the valley there Another area that I'm watching uh, is down in Washington. These are contributing to the haze and obscuring uh, the ability to perceive what's around us. We're looking at windy now, uh, primarily from the west at three kilometers an hour. This is going to vary depending on where you are. You can see that push from the west. It's rolling over the hill and then it's coming downwards uh, from the northwest when it hits the other side. However, the general air mass is flowing from the south to the northwest and you want to be aware of your position if a fire front is encroaching upon your area. This is Highway 24, the cam at Sheridan looking west. I can see a lot of smoke and haze in the air. I went back after an hour, two hours, 
and there may be some difference depending on localized wind patterns but it's that general smoke suppressing this area there is an active wildfire going on right now it's uh, to the east and moving to the northeast around the green green lake area be alert be aware of your situation verify your position know your escape routes um, i would avoid hills and bodies of water that may uh, trap your access out so look out for your neighbors and be safe everyone